Hello guys. Hey guys. Hi. I have missed you, missed you, missed you. It's been so long. Welcome to Nessie Talks. I really do apologise for not having posted anything in the last couple of weeks. But I am back and I will, you know, start to post things regularly. But first and foremost, I've got a little surprise gift for you guys. Now I'll be reading this book that I bought um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's called The Matchmaker at Your Service. Yeah, it's by Pastor Ezekiel Alawale. You could get it on Amazon, actually. Really, really good read. Um, I decided to just share this book with you because obviously it's the season of love. It's Valentine's season. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. So The Matchmaker at Your Service, it's an amazing book. If you're in a relationship, if you're single, if you're engaged, whatever it is, it's a good book to prepare you um, for the road ahead because you just never know what happens. So that's that about that now um over the course of the last few weeks i've been talking to different students especially first year students and they'll be saying to me oh vanessa um how do we survive uni uni is too hard these are first year students who have just come from the a levels or colleges or whatever that they've been doing and they've come to uni and they're by themselves all alone some are probably drowning by now but all hope isn't lost you know we will help you get there. Now, I was going to do something completely different today, but I've had so much feedback from emails, Facebook messages, and I decided I'm just going to do this. And then from next week, we could carry on with our usual, you know, fun, fun, fashion, fashion, food, food thing that we do. But first, th first things first, I want to talk about five key things that you need to do. If you want to survive uni, I, I promise you this, t these tips will work. I promise you know it's not money back guarantee kind of thing but i do promise you that they do work because i tried them and they work for me so the first thing i can't stress this enough guys time management deadlines aren't an indication of exactly how long you've got a deadline is the last day the last chance you have to submit anything people think okay so if i get something this friday and it's due in two weeks i have exactly two weeks to do it no because if you tell yourself that you have exactly two weeks to do something you will find out that you're going to start doing it two three days before the deadline tell yourself i have a week and a half to get this done in the last three four days you don't know what could happen in the last three four days i'll give an example i had a lab report to give in and um, to submit uh See, three weeks ago, see, three, three, four weeks ago, I had some piece of coursework to submit. And I said, you know what, I, I'm not the kind of person who normally leaves it, who leaves a submission to the last day because anything could go wrong. But something happened and that day I had to, I, it was due at two o'clock. And I went upstairs to um, give my work in and he said to me, oh Vanessa, you need your cover sheet. I didn't know we needed the cover sheet for that particular assignment. So I went back downstairs to print it off. Printer wasn't working. When I'm telling you, I had 15 minutes before the deadline to submit my work all the printers in the unit had crashed everything and i was like god why the one time the one time that i decided to leave my work to the last minute this happened to me why lord so i said you know what that's never going to happen again obviously luckily for me he helped me put like just put it through because he knew he knows that i give my work in early early anyways so he helped me put it through so the whole point of this is you need to manage your time properly don't leave your course to the last minute if you've got a test next week stop don't wait don't even wait till it's two weeks to your exam start reading because these exams are always right right after a holiday so you tend to just do whatever it is you want and forget that you've got work to do so time management is really really important number two save guys i know that when you're in when you're in university you tend to live close to a shopping center or a shopping mall or anything like for instance i live right in the center of birmingham so i am right next to the boring okay so from sales to just different offers you get really really tempted to spend your money i am telling you guys it's not worth it you don't want to go hungry you don't want to live on baked beans and noodles and all that you want to have a well-balanced diet you do you want to look healthy you don't want your mom coming you know coming to visit you or you going home and she starts to cry because she thinks you're starving yourself okay now i know i've got a problem I, I did have a problem with shoes like I, I would buy shoes all the time most of the shoes i own i don't even wear like when i when i when my friends come over they say to me oh vanessa i've never seen you wear these shoes it's true i don't wear these shoes i just like to look at them because they're so pretty but I can't stress this enough guys you need to save for your future because once you graduate you get that graduate job you need to have 
you need to have some money to get you started when you need to buy the like last minute things you need to have money for that like i just bought this beautiful laptop and if i hadn't saved up i wouldn't have bought it and my other laptop was starting to give me issues because it was it's quite old and I've, I've had it for well three years going on four years now and i needed to change it so i obviously previously saved for for any for the rainy day just in case i needed money and when it came to buy my laptop i was it was easy it was just really easy for me to get money and just buy it so you have to save don't spend your money on nonsense i know you want to go on nights out and all that stuff not worth it you just find out that each night you're spending 20 pounds if you're going out maybe three times every two weeks that's 60 pounds and you can't find this money your bank statement is just telling you all, all sorts of nonsense that oh you've got minus oh my god and we don't want that so make sure you save all your money like as, save as much as you can i'm not saying obviously be stingy and don't enjoy yourself but you need to save properly open a savings account if you can open a savings account put money in there money that you know that you're under the circumstance you're going to touch it trust me it helps you know you over, over, over time you tend to build up the money that you have so that helps as well okay let's move on three know who you are guys i am sorry but people come to uni and they just lose their minds they come to uni and they just don't know what they're doing anymore like for instance some people come to uni they stop going to church because oh my god i'm a uni now mom's not gonna wake up me, me, wake me up on sunday morning and be like oh vanessa let's go to church oh we have to be out this house in 10 minutes there's no one to tell you that it's just you and yourself so if you don't know who you are you will lose yourself in the crowd don't start drinking because your friends are drinking don't start smoking because your friends are smoking because they have a they know what they're doing some people social smokers they only smoke when they go out you then start picking up this habit and you start smoking every day and before you know it you are spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on cigarettes you're addicted to nicotine and you can't stop don't follow the crowd you are you you are yourself no one wrote your a-level exams for you you wrote them yourself you came to uni all by yourself in your parents car no one dragged you down here you came here by yourself you should you're supposed to be an individual do not lose yourself in the crowd do not do things because everyone is doing it or everyone's going to go clubbing now but you've got an exam tomorrow but you're going to go clubbing with them they've just finished exams but you don't realize that you're like oh my god my friends are going clubbing i'm not going i'm going to feel so left out uh, no don't do that it's just it's just not worth it please you know it's it's you need you need to focus on what you came to do at uni which is to study to get that degree and get that amazing job and make your parents proud and make yourself proud that's another thing four this leads on to my previous point hang out with good people don't don't start hang, hanging out with people who don't benefit you in any way i call them dead weight if, they, if they're not adding value to your life what are they doing they're just dead weight don't do it so that's that's what that's one thing you have to realize have friends who study trust me it's worked out for me like you have friends that you could you know do like that you, you make up and have fun and have sleepovers and everything but when it comes to working you have to find you have to you have to I hang out with those people who know exactly what they've come to do in uni. My friends, we study together. Luckily for me, most of my friends are on my course as well. So we study, we get together and we work really, really hard. And it did pay off in my exams. Okay, so you need to do that. And, la and lastly, lastly, before I round off, pray. If you're a Christian like me, pray. Prayer works. Talk to God. Tell him your worries. Tell him your needs. Because it's important that you you, you pray and let and let God know exactly what it is you want go to church, read your Bible, do whatever it is you need to do. Because trust me, I know that, every, you know, I'm going around and smiling, but chemical engineering is not the easiest course. Trust me, I do struggle sometimes, but with God's help, I'm getting there. I've got my placement year, my final year to go, and I'm just pushing on. And I really, really hope that whatever it is that you've come to do at uni, God makes it su successful. So... I know it's a bit of a serious segment today, but I really, really had to do this. Um, like I always say, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, whatever it is. You can email me, whatever you want. If you have any problems, if you have any things you want me to talk about, just comment on the you know, section below the video and I will, I'll reply. I'll, I'll reply because the whole point of this is to help each other, so... Yeah, guys, so I'll see you next week, hopefully. I promise I will upload something next week. I, re I really do promise. So have a good week. Have a blessed week. God loves you. Mwah. Bye.